Good morning, YouTube, family, friends, and subscribers. Are you Gimpy Boy? Load testing the uh, the 24 volt generator. Batteries are almost full. I'll go up and show you where they're at. And I won't be running this right away. I'll explain what I'm gonna do, but I wanted to see how it handled uh, the load as a backup. I'll check the RPM here. Nice cool morning in the low 30s. Okay, 10 amps are going in the battery because it's running the house at the same time. So the battery bank is at a 90% state of charge. So this is what happens in the morning. I get up in the morning and I'm usually between 89% full and 91% full. So I try to not let my batteries go below 89 ever. And I'm hoping to get 12 years out of these batteries. So this is what I do. I use the MEP uh, generator, diesel generator, to feed the inverter charger when we have no sun days. We're on 50 days and counting of no sun, no appreciable sun. So I use the inverter charger running the diesel generator until this light starts flashing orange. And that's telling me that it's in absorb mode and we'll see the amps go way down. It's 70 amps, and then of course that starts dropping as the battery gets batteries get more full. When it goes into absorb mode, I turn the diesel generator off, then I go down and run that, that gas engine, which only costs $99. Why not put the wear and tear on the cheap motor? And it light loads uh, absorb mode, it runs six hours on 0.9 gallons. So I usually get four days of finishing off my absorb mode four days in a row out of one gallon. I can bulk my batteries with the diesel generator usually an hour and a half and I get six to eight hours runtime per gallon on that diesel. So I'm running an hour and a half on the diesel. And then I run anywhere from one to two hours on the gas engine to finish off the absorb mode. So my total cost per day is, is under 50 cents. And that's pretty doable for me. So I thought that would explain what happens here in the Pacific Northwest on a very low budget off-grid system. I have, again, 1400 watt array. It's on a PWM charge controller. I don't have an MPPT. And my solar array is not on trackers. You'll notice I have one pointing a little more to the south than the other one, the upper panels are true south and you can see this is a different angle slightly off to the west to pick up afternoon sun and this time of year for the next month and a half the sun just as it's setting right about there it'll come out in the afternoon about 3:30, just in time to set 
but I do pick up 25 30 amp hours out of the Sun in the afternoon about 30 days from now and then that'll get better and better and better so four months running uh, the, the diesel generator and the, the gas generator as, as a hybrid for about four months rest of the years totally free don't ever run the generators don't need it even do all the laundry in the house steam mop the floors ironing everything is done run the swamp cooler all that completely off-grid for the rest of the year so I thought thought that might help uh, show you folks what's going on when I talk about a hybrid system yeah it, it's not automatic my generators don't start automatically I do have to turn one off and then start the other one uh, people that have uh, sufficient funds if I had the funds I know exactly what I would be getting and uh, the system's about 80 grand by the time you're done so I've got six thousand dollars in the system that I have and I put it in myself and we are off-grid and I do not have an electric bill and that is a happy day Hope you're having a happy day too. Oh, you can see my, my breath. Cool. <laughs> All right. Isn't that a beautiful house? I just love it. Thank you, Jesus. Have a blessed day, you guys.